the hearts of Nigeria's bustling cities and serene villages, there beats the pulse of labor, the lifeblood of our nation. It's the International Workers' Day. Welcome to a celebration of resilience, of unity, and of the indomitable spirit of the Nigerian worker. At the recent EPN launch and first Private Employment Agency's Chief Executives Conference, stakeholders and luminaries from across the nation converged to champion the cause of workers' rights. Among them, Honorable Justice Benedict D. Kanyap, OFR, the President, National Industrial Court of Nigeria, stood tall, a beacon of hope for workers everywhere. For purposes of Convention 181, the term workers includes job seekers. This point is particularly noteworthy since in labor relations, labor rights in here at three levels. Pre-employment rights, i.e. those rights that arise prior to the start of an employment. For example, rights inuring to job applicants. Secondly, employment rights, i.e. rights arising during dependency of an employment. And thirdly, post-employment rights, i.e. rights inuring at the end of employment such as pension rights. For present purposes, what this means is that where their rights are infringed, job seekers have the right to approach the NICN for redress. We've had instances in other jurisdictions where job seekers have complained that on grounds of discrimination, they were denied employment. It became a case before us, and uh, I was curious to see how we're going to end it but as God will have it, the parties came back and said they have decided to settle out of court. So we never got the advantage of making a pronouncement whether it was possible on ethnic grounds because that's what it looked like to say that because I am now the owner of a company, everybody who is not from my village should go. Even in respect of the existing scanty rules, the rules remain silent as to the employment rights of those recruited in terms of whether the rights are enjoyable as against the recruiter or the employer for whom the recruitment was made and whether the recruiter is the employer of the recruited employee and the employment rights derivable therefrom. It must be noted that Convention 181 requires that the processing of personal data and this is one other area you will have to watch out. The processing of personal data of workers by private employment agencies be done in a manner that protects all data and ensures respect for workers' privacy and be limited to matters relating to the qualifications and professional experience of the workers concerned and any other directly relevant information. On the question whether fees and costs can be charged, workers and if so under which conditions convention 181 enjoins that private employment agencies should not charge any fee fees or costs to workers neither in whole or in part nor directly or indirectly except in respect of certain costs and fees that can be charged as regards certain categories of the workers and specified types of services if they are in the interest of the workers concerned and after consulting the most representative organizations of employers and workers. But we are not merely cogs in a machine. We are architects of change agents of progress and on this international workers day we stand shoulder to shoulder united in our quest for fairness for equality and for a brighter tomorrow let's continue to strive for a future where every worker's rights are honored cherished and protected from all of us at strategic outsourcing limited 
we salute the resilience, the passion, the unwavering dedication of the Nigerian worker. Happy International Workers' Day, today, tomorrow, and always.